Good morning, YMCA family. How are you all this fine Tuesday morning? Hope you're all doing well. I'm Jennifer, and we are here for some yoga this morning. So a little stretching, a little breathing, and then you will be ready for the rest of your day, right? Or maybe lunch, I'm not sure. So <laughs> what do you need? Nice open space, a little bit of water if you need it, right? And of course, we are gonna stretch your hamstrings because we always have to stretch our hamstrings, right? So a band or a strap, uh, a towel, something that you can use just to loop up around those feet for those hamstring stretches. So, sound good? Sound like a plan? Hope you are all well today. Hope you are all ready for a little bit of a break from your day, from your morning, and then you will be ready definitely for the rest of the day. So, excellent. Nice open space. Let's get going, shall we? All right, we're gonna find a comfortable seated position. Remember, as always, everything is only a suggestion. If you need to make modifications, if you need to change something, please feel free, right? You wanna make sure that you are comfortable. So let's take those hands down to those hips and just rock that body from side to side. Bring those hip bones right into contact with the mat. Move out those little fleshy bits, right? And then we'll sit up tall, lift, and lengthen. Let's go ahead and reach those ears up to the sky, soften up the body, excellent, and let's close your eyes. Come inward, and let's find your focus, your intention for today. Notice how you're feeling, and think about whatever it is that brought you to your mat, to your space. Let's breathe deeply and think about that intention. Keeping that thought with you, let's gently here loosen up that upper body. So we'll roll the head around. Nice, easy, circular rotation. Loosen and soften. Supporting that head as you send it all around at the back. Good. Reverse. Opposite direction. Lovely. Excellent, up we go to the center. Same movement, only now with that entire body. So let's rotate that trunk around. Inhale up and exhale down. Same movement. Good, opposite direction, around we go. ourselves back up to the top. Beautiful. Wiggle out that upper body just a little bit and then let's give ourselves a gentle twist, a little rotation to one side and then the other and the first side and the second and one more time. First direction and second direction. Beautiful. To the center. Take those arms out to the side, reach out long through those fingertips. Lots of energy reaching out, extending, and we're gonna give ourselves a little dip over to the side. Reach it down, extend your energy out through those fingertips. We've got a little airplane dip here. But both hips are grounded on that mat. And we are reaching long arms. Big stretch. Good. Up through the center, other side. Drop and reach. Lots of extension through those fingertips. And 
lovely, to the center. Scoop those arms forward. Maybe we can press those palms on out in the front. Then we can lengthen through that upper backs, but still make sure that you are seated tall. Lifty, lifty up. Press. Flip those palms around. Lift up to the sky, up and overhead. Reach and lift, shoulders down. And then once again, dip to the side. Reach, reach. And to the second side, out. And lift. Back to the center, exhale, press the air right on down beside you. We're gonna go ahead and push down on those palms and let's lengthen up through that spinal column. So the ears are lifted and we are trying to be as tall as we can. Bring much space between each of those individual vertebrae. So lift up. Lots of space, lots of elongation here. Be tall. Very nice. We're going to engage that core a bit. Take your chin, drop it to your chest. Take your tailbone, scoop your tailbone up to your belly button. So that means we're going to tighten up that core, push down on your palms, and lift the hips off the floor. Good. And down we go. Excellent. Hands to the knees, sit up tall and fantastic. Give everything a nice little wiggle. Bring those hands to your heart right here at Namaste. Elbows out to the side. Let's work on those wrists just a little bit. Maybe, let's see if you can't lift your elbows up, up a bit so we can gently, gently stretch into those wrists. So a little lift and release. We'll just do two more, a little lift and release, and one more time, gently lift, lift up those elbows, and release. Beautiful. Take an elbow, drop it down to a thigh, push that opposite elbow to the sky, hold here. Let's reach that arm upward, up we go, lift tall, and now let's float that hand down and around behind you, and you can set that hand on that hip. So we're opening up the chest, looking up to the sky. Good, good. And scoop it up and bring it down. Good, up through the center, other side. Dip that elbow down, push that opposite elbow upward. Hold here. And scoop. Reach, reach before you reach that hand down and around behind you. Maybe set it on a hip. Pull that shoulder back. And excellent, a little lift and lower. Back to the center we go. Fantastic. Hands back to those knees, lift up tall, inhale, breathe in. Exhale, scoop and round, seated cat stretch. Go ahead and hinge back, reach that spine to that wall behind you. Scoop it up, lift tall. So lift up, try not to arch the back, but just lift up nice and strong. And then scoop and round. And maybe one more time, lift up tall. And scoop and round. Nice. Up we go to the top. Release those legs. I'm going to rotate here on my mat. There we are. So grab those thighs, sit up tall and long. Fantastic. We're going to reach those arms forward, hinge back a bit, lift up the feet and make our way out into boat. So legs extend out. There's our boat. Bend the knees and bring those guys back to the floor. Good job. Take that right foot, that right leg, and let's just relax it down here on the floor. Good. We're going to sit up tall. Let's give ourselves another spinal twist. So right arm to the outside of that left thigh, and we will rotate on around a little stronger twist than before.
Come on back to the center. Park those hands on the floor behind you, and we're just going to press up into a little modified crab here. So most of your weight on that left foot, we press up. And down we go. Back to the mat. Very nice. Right foot on the floor, left leg relaxes on the mat. Up underneath you, we'll sit up tall and find that rotation. There's our twist. So long spine as you rotate. Good, release to the center. Hands on that mat behind you. Weight on that right foot. Left leg's just hanging out. And then we press up. Up, 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 into that crab. That little three-legged crab. And Excellent. Down we go. Back to the mat. Untangle those legs. Very nice. Make sure you've got enough space back there and keep that thumb on your by and roll down onto your mat. Hug those knees to the chest. Soften the shoulders. Take a breath. Inhale, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out. Inhale, breathe in. And exhale, breathe out. Nice. Take those hands, slide those hands over that right shin, stretch your left leg down and out along your mat, and let's flex both feet. There's our Apanasana pose. So extend your energy out through those heels. Really pull that right leg into the body. Modify as you need to. Feel all sections of that back pressing down into the floor, lengthening. You feel a little stretch into that left hip flexor. We will engage that core again. So take a breath, scoop up chin to the chest, hover that left leg above the floor, feet are flexed. While we're here, point the toes, flex the feet, point the toes, Flex the feet one more time. And fantastic. Down we go to that mat. Let's go ahead and place that right foot on the floor and then just allow that right knee to flop out and open to the side. Maybe wiggle that hip around a little, right? Just a little bit of a hip opener. and then we'll swap up sides. Right leg comes in, reaches down and out, left leg, hug it in, flex those feet, upon a sign. Reach a little bit more, a little bit more energy there, reaching out, extending through those heels. And then slowly curl it up, hover that right leg above the floor, and point, and flex. Two more, point, and flex. Last time, point, and flex. Excellent. Lower down, relax those feet, set that left foot on the floor, and then left knee flops out and open. Open up into that hip joint. Good. Draw that knee back in. Place that right foot on the floor. And let's allow those knees to just rotate in the opposite direction. So duck walk those feet off the edges of your mat, flop those guys towards each other just a little bit. And we'll extend the arms out to the side, T position. Let's add a little bit more dynamic movement here. So knees, windshield wiper, right and left. There we go. Hip movement. Inhale 
and exhale. Good, maybe one more each side. Before you bring those knees back up and bring those feet back together. Good job, hug those knees into your chest, cross the ankles, scoop it up, diamond pose, curl it up, and release it down. Fantastic, feet to the mat, wiggle it out a little bit. Find this guy, whatever you have today. And let's stretch out those hammies, right? So right leg, stretch it to the sky, flex that right foot, hold down on that band, on that strap, and let's just find a nice stretch here today. So push that heel to the sky and right hamstring stretch. Breathe into it. Work the pose and relax. Excellent. Reach up, take that strap into just your right hand. Left arm flops out to the side, T position, and then right leg flops out. Push out through that heel. Breathe here. Good. While you're holding that position, Stretch your left leg down and out along the mat, and let's reach those heels in opposite directions. So press out, reach through those heels, and then gently, we'll just relax. Release that right leg from its strap, send that right leg down and out along your mat, and just give it a little wiggle. Shake it out. Good. Now we're ready to try that other side. So right knee bends on the floor, left foot, we will loop it up right away today. So left leg, hamstring stretch. There we go. Melt into it. Sink a little further. And then we'll take a breath. Reach up, take that strap into that left hand. Open that left leg out to the side. Hold it there. Hips are level. Right leg stretches down and out along your mat. Flex that right foot, flex that left foot. Reach, reach. And release. Release that strap. Send that left leg down and out along your mat. Wiggle it out. Both legs get a wiggle there. Fantastic. Scoop those arms here down beside you, palms face down on that mat, and bend your knees. Good. Ready for bridge. How about we take this as a vinyasa today? So palms stay flat. Let's today inhale, scoop up that tailbone, push those hips up to the sky, and then slowly exhale, roll back down to that mat. 
So you take your time here. Ready? Scoop up, inhale as you go. And release, exhale, roll back down. Continue. Next time you come down and you are nice and flat, hug those knees to your chest just to release. Scoop it in, curl it up. Good. Fantastic. Down we go. Untangle, left foot on the floor, right ankle on top of that left quad. Let's just give it a little through the whole pose and then we'll give it a twist. So hug those legs into the body. Use your strap if you need to. Pull those legs in. A little press. And then a little release. Left foot on the mat. Take that right knee, push the right knee over on top of the left, and we'll just give both knees a flop to the right. So right leg is on top and it just presses down. A little gentle press there, a little rotation. And up we go, beautiful. Untangle, other side. Left ankle to that right quad, hands behind that right thigh, pull in, little stretch. right foot to the mat, left knee, push it over on top of the right, and then both knees flop left. There's that flop. And fantastic. To the center, untangle those legs. Fantastic, we're gonna scoop those hands down and around behind the thigh, and up we go to the top. Nice and long, excellent. So, take those legs on out in front of you, give them a little wiggle, just to make sure that they're nice and loose. We're gonna sit up tall, grab the right leg, pull the right leg into the body, check your posture, you know, and flop your right knee down on the floor. There we go. So the sole of the right foot is up there on that thigh. We have a Jani Shirshasana coming up. Make sure this left knee does not lock out. Scoop it up. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, fold forward, drop it down. Take your time to lift and scoop up to the top. Let's do that once more. So scoop up tall, hinge it out, stay at the bottom, breathe there. Then we'll go ahead and come on up to the top. We're gonna to take your right hand, position your right hand behind that right hip, and let's bring this right knee up underneath you. There's our side gate pose. So extend those left fingertips up to the sky, reach tall, find your center. Good. 
and maybe lift the left foot up off the floor. Maybe bend the left knee, reach back, grab that left foot, open up the chest. And left leg back out. Lower the left foot to the floor if it's not there already. And we're just gonna windmill up and over. So windmill up and over, reach for that left foot. Roll it back into that lovely side gate. Hold here. You can find a side plank if you're feeling fancy. And then wherever you are, we will have a seat. In fact, let's go ahead and just sit down right where we are. That left leg is extended out to the side. We're just going to give it a little side dip. So right arm up, dip towards that left leg, give it a big reach. Reach, reach, and lift up tall to the top. Very nice. So we're gonna go ahead and swap out legs. I'm gonna flip around to the other side. That way I can still see you all, yes? So now the right leg is extended out. Hug the left knee into the body, lift tall, and flop down. There we go. Good, so we're gonna take those two Jami Shoshasanas. Inhale, scoop, exhale, fold. Round and lift to the top. Keep this right knee soft one more time. Inhale, scoop. Exhale, reach. And scoop it up to the top, back to the center. Good job, guys. Take this left hand, bring it down to the mat behind that left hip as you can. Draw that left knee up underneath you and find your side gate. So right arm reaches, lift it strong. Energy through those fingertips. Beautiful. Stay here or up we go. Maybe Reach back with that right hand, grab that right foot, open up that chest. All right, send it out. And let's windmill up and over, scoop it down, reach towards that right leg. Big reach, big stretch. And then from here, back in to side gate. Energy upward, energy through and down and out the length of that right leg. Stay right here or maybe find a side plank. I'm gonna bring that left leg back up underneath you. Steady here, have a seat, there we go. Your right leg is extended out and we just need to reach towards it. So scoop it up and dip it over. And lovely, up to the top. Bring those legs in, both legs in. Let's flop both knees out and open to the side and drop into starfish. If your head is down here and it's not touching your feet, go ahead and shake your head from side to side. And then as you are ready, Scoop and lift, up to the top. Good job, draw those legs in, flip over, hands and knees. Here's our hands and knees.
knees and let's drop into cow. So push that belly button to the floor, lift your head, lift your glutes. Excellent, excellent, and beautiful. Come back to the center. We're gonna go ahead and come down onto your tummy. So let's first lift up to down dog. Maybe counterintuitive, maybe not. There we go. Come forward into plank, your push-up position. And from here, knees, toes, chin and chest. And there we are on your tummy. Scoop it up, curl it up, cobra. Up, up, up. No pressure on those hands. Feet on the mat. Inhale here. Exhale down. Fantastic. Let's work the muscles of the back, right? Because lots of us are doing lots of sitting. We need to make sure that we are energizing that back, working the muscles up the back, all up and down that thoracic chain, right? So we're going to extend both arms out. We're going to find our reverse boat, and we're going to lift it high and hold it. So inhale here, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out. Inhale. Lift up, float on your tummy, breathe here, breathe wherever you are. Good, lift up a bit. Lift up a bit. And lift up a bit. And relax down, forehead to the floor. Take a rest. We're gonna do that one more time. Lifting up a wee bit more each time. So as you're ready, Let's go ahead and float up onto that tummy, lifting arms, lifting legs, hold here, lift a little higher, lift a little higher, lift a little higher, up, 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 and release it. Slide those hands back, press up, and then find your Balasana pose. So really stretch out that back. Wiggle into it, however you need. And excellent, up we go. Back to all fours. One more time, let's just find that cow pose. Lift your head, lift your glutes, and release to the center. Beautiful. Tuck up your toes in the back, press up, down dog. Once you get to down dog, you can go ahead and walk your dog. Settle your weight into both feet and let's transition into giraffe. Take that right foot, step the right foot forward just an inch or two or three. Take the left hand, slide it back an inch or two or three. There's our giraffe pose. From your giraffe, lift up that left leg. Lift it up. and lower down. Good job. Step back, down dog. Hold your down dog, bend both knees, push your derrieres up to the sky. Send your head towards your feet. Release, there we go, back to your down dog. Let's go ahead and try that other giraffe. Yes, left foot forward just an inch or two. Right hand, slide it back an inch or two. There's our giraffe. And there's that lift, right leg, reach it back. Make your way back to down dog, 
push that derriere up. One more time, bend both knees, push your head towards your feet, and keep those knees bent a little bit. Good, and excellent. Back we go to down dog, walk your hands and your feet a little bit closer together, and then we will soften up the knees and round and roll and scoop to the top. Nice. Up at the top, roll those shoulders around, wiggle, release, take a breath at the top, inhale, scoop, and exhale, down, down we go. Good. So right here, let's go ahead and stand tall in mountain pose, just relax those arms beside you, lift up and lengthen, tall, tall posture, soft knees. And let's keep that posture. We're going to spend just a little bit of time, a little bit more time with your wrists, right? So again, I've just been hearing from some of you, and I know that um, you're spending a lot more time with the mouse in a chair that might or might not be at the correct level for your spine. So I want you to go ahead and spread the fingers of one hand nice and wide. The other hand, we're going to go ahead and just wrap it around, right? So those fingers can curl around that other hand, yes? And so from here, let's keep your elbows down close to the body and just gently move the wrist with the hand, the curled finger hand, right? Just gently move that wrist back and forth. A little movement there. Keep those fingers wide. It's easy to let those go. I just did. Good. And then to the center. We'll just swap out, other side. So my opposite hand, nice and wide, this hand, fingers curl around that hand, and just use that opposite hand, a little bit of movement, right? Keep those forearms close. Good. To the center, relax, wiggle all those fingers around, all those fingers, right? Lovely. Take a breath since we're here. Inhale, scoop. Exhale, press it down. Find your center. Close your eyes. Stand tall. Good. Feeling your core, feeling those feet grounded on the mat. Lift your toes off the mat. Float the toes back down. Beautiful. Open your eyes. And let's go ahead and focus on a spot somewhere out in front of you, somewhere that doesn't move. Let's float your hands to your heart at Namaste. Lock those thumbs. And then we're going to shift your weight to your left foot. We're going to find our king pigeon, our standing king pigeon today. So let's lift up the right leg, cross that right ankle, top of that left quad, and let's see if you can't have a seat. Yeah? So we just find our little sit here. We did that um, through the whole pose when we were on our backs. So hopefully you're not feeling so much of a stretch here, working to find that balance. Lovely. Lift up tall, untangle. Both feet on the mat, take a breath. Other side, shift your weight to the opposite foot, cross over that ankle, have a seat, balance. Lovely. Lift up to the top. Same thing. We're going to add a nice forward fold. So scoop it up. First side into pigeon. As you can, release hands to the mat. Straighten out that standing leg. Send your head to the shin. Float that other foot down to the floor. Let's leave it in that nice cross position and we will come up with a flat back. Lift up. And exhale to the heart. Then we untangle. Other side, stand tall. Float it up, cross it over. 
have a seat into pigeon. Float it down. Straighten out that standing leg. Slide those toes down. Little sturdy base there. Flat back, reverse swan dive. Up, up, up. And exhale to the heart. Namaste. Good. Both feet down. Finding your center. Excellent. Lift tall. And relax. Good. Big wide step with those feet. Reach those legs out. Float those hands forward to the floor. And we're just going to look behind you. So relax your neck. There we are. If you can, you can drop into ostrich. Maybe those elbows can come to the floor. come back to the mat if they weren't there already. Let's walk both hands over to one side. Pick your favorite side. I'm going to leave one hand on the floor and scoop the other arm up. Walk it down and over to the other side. Leave one hand down. Scoop the other arm up. Bring it down, walk it to the center. One more time, drop down into ostrich or just relax your head, look behind you. Lovely, press up. Walk around. Let's let one of those legs become the front leg. It doesn't matter which, but let's go ahead and rotate all 10 of your toes in that same direction. Sink into a nice runner's lunge here. And we're going to press up into warrior. Or you can drop that knee to the floor and we'll press up here into monkey. So your choice. Scoop it up, warrior or monkey. Arm scoop up. Hold that position, find your balance, and just float the arms down and up one more time. Down and up. Excellent. Hands down, and then from whichever position you are in, walk yourselves on around. Other side, rotate those toes, all ten, point to the front, sink into that runner's lunge, knee up or knee down. And let's lift up, warrior, warrior or monkey, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, lovely, to that mat, step yourselves back, down dog, wiggle into that down dog, knees to the mat, release your toes. Sit back, Balasana. Very nice. As you are ready here, flip yourselves over onto your backs. Go ahead and hug those knees into your chest. Roll down, round down. And then from here, let's give it some little figure eights little scoops on that lower back. Very nice. Bring those knees to the center. Give those knees one flop to the right. And one flop to the left.
Lovely, to the center. Set those feet on the mat, slide those legs down and out along the floor. Give them a little wiggle, a little shake. You stay right there. You find yourselves a comfortable, relaxed position for our remaining time. Socks, sweatshirts, pillows, whatever you need. You relax down there on your mat. Find your space. Close your eyes. Check in with your body. How does it feel? How is your body feeling today in this space? So we'll take in a nice breath. And then I want you to exhale and soften everything. Melt that body down into your space. Let it go. Soften everything. Let that body just feel supported by the floor, wherever you are. That body is easy and tension free. We should be able just to check in with that sense of calm. Just notice your feet. Let go of the feet. If there's any extra stress there, let's just exhale. Let go. We'll soften up from the feet up into those lower legs and the knees. Letting go through the thighs and the hips. Softening up through your core, through the tummy, through the glutes, and the lower back. Letting go through the chest, the mid and the upper back. Exhaling through those shoulders and down and out the length of both arms. Relaxing even into those fingertips. You might want to turn your head a little from side to side. Just a little rotation here. Making sure that your head, your neck, the features of the face, everything is soft and gentle. And then with that body relaxed in your space, check in with your breath. Feel that breath move through the body. Feel the chest rise. Feel the chest fall. Feel that rhythm of your breath. And then from the breath, let's come inward to the mind. Find that gentle, soft, quiet space where you're always safe, warm, serene, and easy. Let's go ahead and just relax in this space and enjoy a few moments of solitude. Enjoy the peace.
and slowly and gently, let's make your way back into your space. And let's work to reestablish that breath. So the breath has grown shallow. Let's go ahead and take in a deep breath in. And a full breath out. Full breath in. Complete breath out. Continue with that breath. Move that breath through the body. And slowly here, let's start to wiggle your fingers and toes around a little. Energy into that body as you wiggle. You might like to slowly stretch out. Give yourself a little hug or roll over onto your side for just a wee moment more. You can stay right there on your mat in your space or you can slowly make your way up to a seated position. Either way, let's just close your eyes for a moment of closure. So come in, think about that intention. Think about your own uplifting idea, thought, prayer, or just a moment of silence. Loka, Sonasta, Sukino, Bhavantu. In the entire universe be filled with peace and joy, love and light. Shanti means peace. Om Shanti to you. Thank you so much for stretching and breathing with me today. I cannot wait to see you all guys uh, all again. Please do get some vitamin D, so important. Go outside, see Mr. Sunshine. Hydrate, stretch your hammies, and everyone take care. Namaste. See you soon. Hi guys, I'm Jennifer. This is Cheddar. Thanks so much for stretching and bending with me today. And Cheddar, of course, wants to remind you to please go wash your paws. We'll see you soon, guys. Bye-bye.